still of course take away the favorite. Depends on the beginning of the match if she manages to put pressure right from the get-go then it's still Pegalai that needs to respond. She's done very well all over the world and a multiple winner on the WPBA Tour in the States winning the US Open there on several occasions. There is a gap between male and female players in pool, that is without question. But I think the gap is smaller in this Q sport than any other. Yes, I have to agree. The um, biggest difference, I think, is that the number of top female players, there aren't so many. So the competition is not as fierce as with the men. And that is also a thriving, a thrusting factor, of course. But skill-wise, if we watch this break and run by Guy and Kim, there shouldn't be too much between them. But of course, nine balls not only about pocketing balls and playing position, it's also about kicking and safeties. We still have to see how she upholds it against Peggy Lyon. Well, one thing is certain, she could not have made a better start. How about that? Ga Young Kim off to an absolute flyer. The 2008 World Masters Champion Paggy Lyon, 1-0 down. Second rack, Ga Young Kim to break, leading by one rack to nil. Well, we've just seen a brief but insightful flavour of just how good she can be. Perfect break off. Look, this is the best start possible. Giving the signal to Pegaline and the viewers that she's here to win. To at least commit herself to winning this match. So what will be the tricky shot in this rack? I say the one ball directly. Pocketing the one, good shape on the two ball to allow herself to get all the way up table to the three. That's the biggest task. Don't think she got there. Now, there is a bank shot available. It looks like a double kiss, but it's not on. I don't know if she knows the shot. Ah, beautiful. They play a lot of three cushion in Korea. Actually, it's the biggest Q sport discipline. And I'm sure she has gained some knowledge in that discipline. Well, for the first three years of employing a cue stick, that's what she played. And then she turned to pool, and the rest is pool history. She has been a, a world champion. Nine and ten ball in the ladies' game. And well known at home because she's had success in the multi-sports events like the Asian Games, silver medalist in eight ball in 2006 in Doha and again at Guangzhou in 2010 and she won the silver medal in the women's nine ball at this year's World Games in Cali in Colombia. And you cannot get more impressive than the way part though is making the one and getting position, getting the cue ball down towards the two ball. Wow. 
good fortune on two counts not just fluking the ball but also avoiding the other top pocket with the cue ball this is what a nine ball player always remembers when in the chair that luck will turn it comes it goes and if you stay composed you will get your share no easy position cannot draw or stun the ball to come on the left side of the nine because the seven is in the way needs to deal with that five ball well she is stunning back I don't know if she's used to play with the shot clock but she seemed to rush a little on her shot selection there well that's the thing with the shot clock whether it be in pool or in snooker when you first play under its restrictions that's the natural tendency to rush a little too much you've actually got more time than you think can she do it again oh, oh. beautiful shot a lifesaver a possible lifesaver but then she needs to start controlling her cue ball better young Kim she did have a shot on the five and it's okay to refuse a shot but then play the safety full-heartedly jump shot can she make it three in a row three in a row for Gaian Kim the first one was a fluke but afterwards two great shots <laughs> Yes, Alex has learned his lesson. If you didn't hear what he said, I will never leave you that.